name is Roman Brick. Um, I and my children are victims of State Island Family Court. Judges are uh, mostly the same. Most recently, uh, it's Janet McFarlane who is tormenting me and my kids. It's a subverted system. No juries, no hearings, no observers. They block the entrance with the scaffolding almost every court. And uh, we know why. I know why. I was born in the Soviet Union. I know what it is. I know what it's communist oppression and subversion. I'm also a licensed lawyer in Israel, not in the US. And I use the, the great United States Constitution in Israel, but we cannot have it in here in America, in New York. I uncovered the legal donations by the judge in my case, Janet McFarland. I sent complaints to CJC. They investigated and they closed the case. They don't care. I uncovered nepotistic appointments by attorneys, uh, by judges of attorneys in Staten Island in family court in, with quantitative data. It's open. It's, it's on my Facebook page. It's on Fire Janet McFarland Facebook page. Uh, CJC don't care. They, uh, they get the, the judges take the kids away on bogus allegations with no hearing. And even when victims are vindicated, the kids are not returned. No hearing, no appeals. LaSalle's court, LaSalle is the judge of the second uh, uh, appellate division, was recently rejected twice by New York State uh, Senate. His, his court is doing nothing. Judge Morgenstern, I know she's mentioned here by other, by other victims, she was recently overturned in case Daisko versus Daisko, 2021, 1894, no hearing. The parent there waited for, for one and a half years to get justice. What about the damage done to the kids before that? Very symbolic, the win here. CJC is a subverted organization. They try to subvert the impeachment process designed by the United States Constitution. Yes, the sign is flying like our juries. The juries that are guaranteed by the 6th and 7th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Somehow CJC claimed they're part of the executive branch. How are they part of the executive branch? There are 11 members. Four of the 11 members are judges. Five of the members are lawyers whose livelihoods depend on the judges. Nine out of 11 are people it's who, who form a voting bloc that are crushing in any chance for real judicial accountability. The foxes are guarding the hen house. They really think all of us are that stupid. Majority of judges, majority of judges, super majority of judges and lawyers. If that wasn't enough, CJC, those who sit in this building right here, they have a majority of appointees by compromise appointers. Three of the CJC members were appointed by disgraced governor, Andrew Cuomo, the chair, Belloc, and the members, Korngold and Yeboa. Three others were selected and appointed by disgraced chief judge, Jeanette Di Fiori, uh, the member Camacho, Falk, and the recently retired Mazzarelli. Six out of 11 members. Now actually five out of ten. The CGC is waiting for another appointment uh, of, uh, of the, for the spot recently uh, uh, vacated by recently re re replaced or retired Mazzarelli. <laughs> yes, Every, every everything is, is flying like the justice in the system. So both Cuomo and Di Fiori, they were forced to leave their position prematurely because of their inability to make good decisions. Why should we trust the decisions they made with the judges and members of the commission? We shouldn't. The public is, is similarly entitled to know and to question why out of hundreds of thousands of, 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 uh, of attorneys, it was Robert, Robert H. Tembekjian, the administrator and counsel of the CJC. He is also the one who is connected to the California Commission on Judicial Performance Matters. Why? Why? My guess, and I think a valid conjecture, is they want to replicate the same social engineering push by the government to subvert, to subvert the intention of the founding fathers who designed the impeachment process by frequently elected legislature and to subvert it with, with CJC who does nothing, does very, very little. Another thing, the letters that are sent by, the, by, the, by CJC are labeled confidential. It's another gaslighting. Confidential for whom? Not for the victims. Confidential for the employees, they try to gaslight us at every level. It's not the executive branch. It's not, it's not providing any accountability. Recently, a Senate bill 4398 uh, was submitted by, by three senators. We applaud, I applaud the efforts that they are doing, but it's not enough. 
it's not enough. We need to re return to, the, to our legislative roots. We need to return to the Constitution. Soviet dissidents went out to protest in public saying, uphold your own Constitution. That's what we need to do. Uphold your own Constitution.